This is a short video for the last day of my wipe, and it started with a tour of my base on stream. Okay, let's do a tour. This is the base I've been living in. This is a 2x2x2, two by two by two, which I'm calling the comfortable clutch, right? The reason I'm calling it the comfortable is if you look, right, there is moments of inconsistency, but if you look at my comfort, pretty much anywhere I stand in the base will give me at least 85 comfort. Uh, even down here, it's a little less, around 80, oh, this is a lot less, but that's because I couldn't get one on the city, ignore it. But here you go, and I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Hopper, man, where's, how, what, it doesn't make any sense, it's beautiful and everything, but where's life? Well, the, the journey just keeps going. So if we pick up the spinner, pick up this fish, and we dump the window that was under the fish. I will normally put another, like, uh, another furnace down overnight just to keep it here. Then we come up, we'll see, we go into our second story with the fish. Now, you will notice what my new investment was. I couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist. Look at the floor, man. It is looking sick. So this is the second floor. And as you can see, it's pretty much... It's definitely colourful, and at night, it's crazy. It's so good. The comfort is only 88. I'm telling you, mate, I'll tell you, it's close enough. It's only 78 at the minute, we don't look at it. But it's pretty, pretty damn comfortable. Like, that's the main thing to take away from it. I've got all my necessities. I've never even built one of these things before. Have you ever seen these things? Mate, I never had, but now I've got four of them. And I figured out that you can just, like, put them under stuff as well. So this one's, like, sticking through the mixing table. But yeah, this is my comfortable base. I think I didn't do it up there, but I did carpet all the box rooms as well. I basically raided a base or whatever, that counter. It had like three and a half thousand cloth in it. So I was like, okay, let's just make three and a half thousand rugs. The DMT bet you're telling me, dude. This is like a 0.4 of it. Crazy. Let's get loose. But yeah, there you go. This is the base I've been living in. And it's definitely been like the most comfortable base I've ever lived in. Visually, it's stunning. Uh, I accidentally broke my farm earlier, which is not good. It went a little bit off. Then let's have a little look. Uh, living here, I, what was it? I got like an LR for a, a raid. And I joke you not, I'll just be in here farming. And I'll hear someone cutting down trees. I'll just run out with the LR dead. I, I haven't farmed or anything. I mean, I can show you how stacked we are. We're like pretty damn stacked. Um, I just... I haven't, I'm not really using it, do you know what I mean? I haven't made any beds or anything. It's all just what we got for braids. I've just been concentrating on the farm, really. Just chilling out. It's been pretty good from the outside world. Is, did any of you see the entrance to the base? I ask you now, chat. I just showed you around the whole base. Once you're in here, you're in like solitary comfort farming, mate. That's what it is. Bro, that rug skin is lit as fuck. Joe, I'm telling you, James, like, th this is awesome. I'm surprised it's not... Maybe loads of people bought it, but I'm surprised this isn't worth more. Because a lot of the rugs are. All in all, banging 2x2x2. Two by two by two. Pretty chuffed for that. Whilst relaxing, I heard the familiar sounds of a nearby raid. Feeling gangster after managing counter the day before, I thought, you know what, let's try it again. There's that sneaky entrance. Oh yeah, baby. Now I know this was the location of the raid, but it was one of these two bases. It couldn't be on the other island, the angle didn't make sense. So I had to pick one. And you know I'm always drawn to twig. Now it may look like I'm trying to mate with this window, but I swear I was trying to make it through. You've always got to be sneaky when countering raids. That is now the second raid in a row. I have won by people blowing themselves up. This is an awesome wipe. After this, I was feeling unstoppable. True power over nature. So I decided to do some farming. Yeah. I copped 
that crib and bought two chains and then I hit the rest. Now what you'll see I'm doing here is I'm cycling through different colours of berry each time I plant. This on two planters works out perfectly so you don't get crossbreeding issues. So if I get a good seed it's going to stay that way. I'll just be in here farming and I'll hear someone cutting down trees. I'll just run out with the LR dead. This is where I got Woodle White. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a short one, but uh, thank you so much for watching this series. If you enjoyed this and you want me to do similar things, if not a bit longer, then let me know in the comments, man. Thank you so much for watching. Pop a clutch out.